Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Krista. Today I'm gonna be doing another foundation review. If you like foundation reviews, I do have a whole playlist, so I'm gonna add this to that, and you can check out my old videos if you like this one. And then also go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Today I'm going to be trying out a new foundation. I think this has been out, I just looked it up on YouTube. YouTube. I guess it's been out since like one of the girls had posted it back in January, maybe even earlier than that, but it says new on the foundation bottle and I was at Target and I saw it and I thought it would be something that I was interested in. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow Foundation and I got mine in the shade 120. So yeah, we're going to jump right into the video and let's get started. Oh, by the way, too, let me know if you guys like this background better. I was kind of getting bored of my background from where my vanity was because it literally just shows like closet door and then my shoes in the back. And I felt like that was kind of boring. So I thought this was a little bit more fun to look at because I have like my clothes like my clothing rack back here, some pictures and stuff like that. So let me guys know if you guys like this. I just wanted to kind of switch it up and make it different here and there because I felt like my videos were getting so like stagnant and the same thing. So just trying to switch it up. Okay, price is $10.99. So I have the details on the foundation. So it says, get the dewy skin of your dreams with our skin enhancing foundation infused with prickly pear oil for lasting moisture and glow. The innovative texture is both creamy and exceptionally lightweight, yet it evens out your skin tone and minimizes the look of those things you'd prefer not to see. You control the glow, glowing skin coverage with a sheer to medium buildable coverage. And this long wearing formula goes the extra mile by not caking or feeling greasy or tacky. I made sure to fill this foundation with plenty of ingredients that love your skin, including anti-pollution, anti-blue light ingredients to protect, antioxidant vitamin E to help block environmental aggressors and prickly pear oil to moisturize and suitable for sensitive skin and the ideal foundation for dry skin. Available in 16 versatile creamy liquid foundation shades that work for most skin tones and types. So 16 isn't like, what is it? Isn't the Fenty one has like 40 something? So the shade range is eh, but typically for drugstore, I feel like the shade ranges aren't always the best. So I'm not really shocked by that, but 16 isn't too bad. I'm glad it's not like they have like five shades because then I wouldn't even want to review the foundation. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit and take a couple pumps. Hopefully the shade isn't too light for me, but I did just self tan. But either way, we're gonna make it work. I didn't want to go a shade darker than this because it looked like a super pink undertone. So I decided to go for this. It does feel a little thick, but I remember that about the regular version of this as well. If it is a little bit too light, I will just go ahead and um, use some bronzer and bronze it up, but it is a little bit light here. I put a little bit of self tan around my face too. And I'm not using any primer. I'm gonna do about that much. I, can, I feel like I can almost smell the pear smell in it. It smells really good. And I'm just gonna start out with the brush side because that's the side that they actually recommended. And we'll start blending this out. And so it said it was a light to medium coverage. Okay, so I feel like that blended out really nicely. I would agree with the fact that it is a light to medium coverage. I am gonna go ahead and build it up and see if we get a little bit more coverage with it. So I 
Okay, so I feel like this gave a really <clears throat> nice glow to my face. I would say that it's buildable. I feel like the second coat kind of made it give it that medium coverage, but I don't think that you're gonna get a full coverage effect from this. You can see compared to this side, I have like redness, some freckles, things like that. So it kind of covered that for the most part. Um, it did make my skin look super glowy, which is so, so pretty. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with the Beauty Blender. Okay, so I did the other side with the blender and I noticed a lot less coverage using the Beauty Blender. Um, with the brush, even with the first coat, I got a lot more coverage. So I'm kind of liking the brush side better. And I also feel like with the Beauty Blender, it came out a lot more dull looking. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply another few more dots around my face of the foundation to see if we can get it built up a little bit more. Okay, so this is how we are looking all together. Um, I did look up close. I did feel like the Beauty Blender gave it more of a flawless, like it blended out a little bit better. I just feel like whenever I use a brush, um, I do like to go back over with a Beauty Blender sometimes because it gets, like I feel like you can see the stroke marks a little bit. So I just did that, but I can't, I feel like I would probably, always use a brush with this and then just tap over with the beauty blender. I think the shade is probably maybe like one shade too late for me. Like I should have gone up one or two shades, but I think I'll be able to make it work once I do all of my makeup and like bronze my face up and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off camera, finish up my makeup, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I am back. I just finished my makeup. It is currently 4.30. I really like the way that my makeup looks right now. I think it came out super glowy. I did go ahead and set my face, but like I said before, I didn't use primer. I had to use a little bit of setting spray just because of like the powders and everything. So I ended up using the Wet n Wild Jungle Rock 3-in-1 Mist. This is the collab with Bretman Rock. So I used this just to help with that and then um, just to help with any like powderiness or anything. And then I used the Huda Beauty Rusting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Mascara. So I used these two together. So hopefully that will help the foundation if anything. So since it's 4.30, I'm going to check back in in probably about three hours and then I'll try to go three more hours after that and then check in again so that we can get a full six hour wear. I've been staying up later. I probably should have started this foundation review earlier, but I've been staying up later so I can definitely make it the six hours and I will check in with you guys soon. Hey, hey guys, I am back. So I have been wearing the foundation for about three hours now. It's currently 7.39, so almost 7.40. And yeah, I have to say that it has held up pretty well. I'm happy with the way that it looks. My nose got a tad bit oily, but other than that, the makeup looks very flawless. I do like this foundation so far, not gonna lie. I Like I said at the beginning, I prefer really um, glowy foundations, so this is doing it for me. Uh, I don't know, like obviously with the way I had set my makeup and everything like that, if that helps with the foundation, but I really honestly like the way it looks. I don't have any complaints so far. So I'm going to check back in at probably around like 10.30 before I go to bed. I will let you guys know if I think the foundation has changed much since then, but so far, so good. I'm really happy, like nothing's really worn away. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else that I have to say about it as of right now, but I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, so I am back for my final check-in. It is almost 10.30, it's about 10.17 right now. And I figured I would go ahead and just wrap this video up.
Um, I have to say I do like this foundation. I'm really impressed with the wear. Um, I don't know if it's because I did set it well. Like I used the Huda Beauty setting powder and the setting spray and I definitely feel like that helped with the longevity. But yeah, I like it overall. I think this would be a really good foundation. Definitely during the day if you want more of like a lighter coverage glowy kind of look. So I think it would be really great for that. Like if you're running errands or you have somewhere to go to during the day and you're not looking for like a super full coverage look, this is good. I would definitely say that it's buildable like it said. I was a I was able to build it up to about that medium coverage and I don't really feel like I look too oily or anything. I think it's because I did set my makeup so well. And here is just a really close up view if you want to see. My skin doesn't look too bad and this is after six hours of wearing it. Um, definitely some of the foundation came off around my nose. Everywhere else looks pretty flawless. Um, I did use kind of like a heavier concealer. Um, it's the one that I reviewed recently, the Conceal and Define Makeup Revolution Concealer, but it's the Infinite one. And I had to do it a couple times, um, just some makeup issues with that. But other than that, like everywhere where the foundation is looks really nice. Um, yeah, so I am happy with it. I don't know if it's like a holy grail kind of foundation or if it's a new complete like favorite of mine, but I think it's a really good option at the drugstore um, and it's a really pretty finish. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one very soon. Bye.